Buen dia, everyone, and welcome to Ixtapa. Ixtapa is a beautiful little Mexican town, but it presents a similar dilemma, similar to other Mexican towns like Puerto Vallarta and Acapulco, and that is, what part of town are you gonna choose to stay? Are you gonna stay in Ixtapa or Cihuatanejo? Both are about two and a half miles apart. And if you've done your travel research, you'll know that Cihuatanejo is a beautiful little fishing town that's full of charm, nice people and restaurants, and several little bays that you could visit. The Ixtapa side is its resort sister. <laughs> this is where you can go to, if you like the uh, all-inclusive style of, of resorts, Ixtapa is where you go. But if you've watched my previous videos, the question you'll probably have for me is, but Andy, you're in Ixtapa now. I thought that you preferred the Mexican towns over the resort towns and you would be right. <laughs> but on this occasion, it was a, a good deal that brought me here. I got a good deal. You know, I'm a, a regular on hotels.com. So I got a discounted rate at the Emporio. So here I am. But you know what? I really like Ixtapa. And all you have to do is cross the street and you, you feel like you're in Mexico again and not a resort. There are no chain restaurants, there are no shopping malls, or anything imported from north of the border. There are, there are a lot of small restaurants, there are a lot of bars, sports bars, there are little shopping, uh, clothing shopping, there's jewelry shopping, souvenir shopping, anything you want that's mixed in. And while I didn't take advantage of it, as you know how I like to bike ride throughout the towns, there is a beautiful bike path throughout Ixtapa. And there is a local place where you can rent bikes if you choose to take advantage of it. Let's show you where that's at. So what you do is you cross the street from whichever hotel you're, you're in, and I was in the Hotel Emporio. Great hotel, by the way, I enjoyed it. And you look for Senor Taco Grill, the restaurant. On the left side, there's a little pedestrian um, avenue or pedestrian path. You walk down that path, we'll just follow these guys here until you come upon Ruben's Hamburgers. You hook a left at Ruben's Hamburger and you're gonna see a fleet of bicycles, all types of bicycles, and you can rent a bike there. And uh, I have pricings for you here. It's reasonably priced. For one hour, you pay 100 pesos, which is roughly about three, uh, $5.30. And for just 20 pesos more, that's about a little more than a dollar, you get it for two more hours. So for three hours, it's 120 pesos, $6.40 total. But if you need it for 24 hours, you're gonna pay 300 pesos for about $16 for the entire day. I would say that's not too bad. What I enjoyed the most about Ixtapa was the beach. Yeah, I, like to, um, I like to walk on the beach. I like to jog on the beach. I try to do it as much as possible. It's really good on the calves and it exfoliates your feet. If you got a little dry skin going on there, walk on the beach a bit. In terms of walking and jogging, the beach will, it's as long as you need it to be. But the consistency is the sand is what I like. It's nice, firm, and you don't sink too much into the sand. So many of the tourists walk that beach. I've never seen so many walkers on a beach than I have in Ixtapa. And it's not overly crowded. There's enough beach to go around. It's wide, so there's plenty of room to fit everybody. And if you walk down further enough, you're gonna see a number of uh, ladies and guys all dressed in white waving at the passers-by. So I had to walk down far enough to ask what's going on there. They offer massages. And just behind them, there are several little huts. I wasn't really interested to look inside what these huts look like, but that's where you get your massage. The price they're, they're charging was 300 pesos per hour, uh, but if you only had American dollars, it's $20. So um, take pesos with you. The exchange for 300 pesos is about $16, but if you only have dollars, you're gonna pay $4 more, $20. They did say that they would go to your hotel to, if you didn't want to use the little shady looking booths that they had to offer there. So when it's time to head over to Cihuatanejo, um, all you need to do is go out to the, the main road again, catch one of these little vans, little combis, or uh, a larger bus, 
It's only 14 pesos and it, it'll take you 20, 30 minutes um, because they're making stops along the way to get to Siwatanejo. They will drop you off on Calle Cinco de Mayo. That should be easy to remember. And you have to walk down a little bit to get to the beach area of Siwatanejo. But there are a lot of shops, if you're interested in shopping for souvenirs, uh, that you will pass through. Before moving on to Siwatanejo, there's a couple of um, milestones that the Timeless Travel Club has reached. Uh, so there's a couple of, of announcements that I would really like to make. First off is I'm in the month of February now and um, with February brings my one year anniversary. I've been traveling and showcasing Mex Mexico for one year now. So yeah, it's been a long haul. That means a, a lot of hotel stays, a lot of Airbnbs, a lot of miles walked on these chanclas. It's a lot of margaritas sampled, a lot of stray dogs pet, <laughs> and um, it was all worth it. So um, everybody who has watched my videos up to this point throughout that journey, thank you so much. The second milestone is I have surpassed the 1,000 subscriber mark. Yay, me! <laughs> One of my old friends was actually um, congratulating me on my 1,000 subscriber. And I thank him. I said, you know what? Thank you for, for being one of those subscribers. And he says, I, I haven't subscribed. You what? You, you watch my videos. He says, yeah, every time you post it on Facebook, I just click on the link and, and I watch your videos there. While that's awesome, I realize that there's a lot of people who watch my videos who uh, may not have the need to subscribe. So I'm gonna go over, I think there are eight ways I counted that you can help support the Timeless Travel Club without spending a red cent. So here's your countdown. First, the first one on the list is to watch. So if, you, if you're here, thank you so much. That is the first step. Step number two is watch till the end. Hopefully I have, my content is good enough to where um, you don't have to click away and, and look for entertainment or look for another source elsewhere. By the way, these eight steps, they're primarily meant for that core bunch of people who follow me, follow me maybe because you know me, maybe your family, maybe uh, you are a um, ex-fellow co-worker, or maybe you just picked up on uh, my channel early on and you've followed me since. If you're just the casual coming in looking for, um, looking for tips or information on a specific location and clicking away, that's totally fine. I do that all the time. I'm not out trying to solicit subscribers. You should only subscribe if you get value from my, um, from my channel, or if you're related, or if you're a friend. <laughs> the obvious ones is to like the video if you like it, um, share the video with other people we may know together, um, hit the notification bell, that way every time there's a new video that's out, you'll be notified. It's only once a week at most. And if I'm going back home for a bit, it may be up to three weeks before uh, between videos. But those few things help tremendously, helps my YouTube score. I won't get into the analytics portion of it because that'll just bore people and you'll click away. So what's next? When I say subscribe, some, some people that I know say, well, I'm gonna get all my kids, they watch YouTube, I'm gonna have them, all them subscribe to you. That's not gonna help me because they are going to get bored with this type of video more than likely, and they're gonna unsubscribe a day away, a week down the road, and that does not help my YouTube score. So um, I don't want people who genuinely, genuinely want to watch the video to subscribe. After that, comment. I answer all my comments. In, in, unless I'm in an area that, that lacks good internet coverage, um, it may take a while, but yeah, you know, when I get bigger, maybe 30,000, 40,000 subscribers, I may start to snub some subscribers for comments. Just kidding. <laughs> that won't happen. I answer all my comments, even the nasty ones. Actually, you know what? I don't get any nasty comments. Um, all my viewers, whether you, sub you subscribe or not, are nice people. All right, is there anything left? Let's see here, I don't, I'm not even counting these things. Comments, I think that pretty much covers it. If that was seven, if that was eight, it's all good. Let's get back to showcasing Mexico. On to Siwatanejo.
I spent much of my time while in Cihuatanejo at the Playa Principal, right in the main area of town. But there's a lot of other popular beaches like Playa La Ropa, Playa Las Gatas, which are also very popular beaches. The nice thing that I liked about Cihuatanejo is they did a very good job in allowing you access to all these beaches. It drives me crazy where some cities, the hotels take over and they make certain portions of beaches exclusive for their members. Not in Cihuatanejo. You have, for the most part, along Playa Principal, a nice, even walkway to walk around from beach to beach area. As you get further, you may have to walk onto the beach to get to the other walkway, but it is a nice walk back and forth. I wish I had explored more. I will explore more the next time. Yes, there will be a next time uh, because Siwatanejo and Ixtapa is a place that I truly enjoyed. So I'm gonna let Siwatanejo do the rest of the talking for itself because it is so beautiful. It is very English friendly, but the people, the Mexican people, are very friendly and nice and accommodating, as are uh, the gringos. So check out Cihuatanejo, check out Ixtapa. You choose where you want to go. I hope I help make that decision. All right, until the next time, I am on to Acapulco, and a happy one year anniversary to the Timeless Travel Club, and I hope to tag along for the next year. Ciao. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Claudia. Doria. Doria. Quieto. Quieto. Cámara. Cámara para video.